a great idea. Delicious Queens and headed to, for Fundy National Park. The team wanted to build their tents as soon as they got to their campsite. Unfortunately, no one packed a tent. They all belong, uh, began running through their belongings to see if there was anything they could use. John Zoe found 386,478 broths in his bag, and Allison Cald Caldwell had seven icicles in hers. <laughs> Melanie Blackton uh, pulled out a couple of cheesecakes, and Braxton Dearman found some dolphins by the CoverGirl makeup. <laughs> the team worked together to assemble the tents quickly, while Rachel Knowles homogenized the whole time. <laughs> The next item on their list was uh, their list to accomplish was to start building a sponge. They knew they needed to write a lot of blimps before it became too fierce, so they festered very squeamishly. For a snack, they decided to make chandelier on a belly button and cook up a can of sombreros. As it got dark outside, Braxton Dearman heard a water buffalo make a sound in the woods. <laughs> Melanie Blagden was scared and ignited a poutine outside. <laughs> Outside, Nathan Weaver trickled beeswax from the inside of the tent. The water buffalo farted, but not before it swam over all the repulsive cloth. When the morning came, Rachel Knowles and Emily Weaver left to go plop up to a stupendous Sammy Arsenault and gather Donald Trump's hair. <laughs> One cool day at Crandall University during the summer, the Periwinkle staff of, uh, of Student Services and Admissions Office decided to take a trip to Parley Beach. Sheldon McLeod packed a bag full of moist, lovely crystal knolls. Oh. oh, a moist, lovely. Huh. I think someone used an improper noun. Crystal Knowles brought a big jug of tears, and Mary Beth Clements made sure that there was enough femurs for everyone. Matt Wheaton brought a towel that had a picture of a raunchy tree on it. The beach was crowded, but there were a few spiffy spots left. Emily Vincent and Phil McAllister wanted to learn how to slide, so they rented a pair of Sean and hopped into the water. Lori Weir and uh, Bethany Robertson watched from the sand while they were laughing. Soon it was time for more snacks, so Heather Burke went uh, to, to the stand to buy spicy Cheetos for everyone. A lifeguard blew on his toe because someone was stalking too far into the ocean. The sun was running, so Don Wellner and Dave Cook rubbed Eskimo on themselves for protection. Eventually the tide came too close and caught all the pantaloons away from the beach. The student services and admission staff packed their Sheldon and went home. Thank you.